These are some IBC totes that I recently bought and I'm going to use these to store firewood. And if you're looking for these, I found them on a Facebook Marketplace. You can also find them on Craigslist and places like that. Paid $35 a piece for them. They range, you know, anywhere from what I found, you know, 50 to 25. Um, but these I paid 35 for. And if you're going to convert them to use with firewood, of course, you got to take this tank out. You don't have to. Some people leave the tank in and they just cut the top out of it. Uh, but I wanted better air circulation so it would dry faster. So I uh, took the tanks out. And to do that, you take these rods out. You just pull this screw right here and right here. And then take this out and this out. And then this tank just falls out. Um, it's very easy. And then you're left with a cage like this. Now, in order to uh, be able to get in there to uh, load firewood and unload it, I'll show you what you do next. You can't hardly get in here, you know, and I'm tall. You can't really get in here to load wood. So you've got to cut a hole in it. And I was worried about doing that, about the integrity of it once you load this with firewood, but you're going to cut out a square this big and you still got this holding it together. And it really doesn't make any difference. I haven't found that it weakens it um, really at all. So um, I'm just using an angle grinder with a cutoff blade in there to cut these out. You could use a hacksaw, a reciprocating saw, plasma cutter. You could use a lot of different things to do that. now you've got these sharp edges and whether you file them off or whatever you do I'm using a flat disc you need to do something because as you come in here to get this wood later you're going to tear your clothes all right now I'm just going to hit it with some Krylon primer any spray paint at all would do just to keep them from resting All right, now you just let that dry and you're ready to start loading it up. All right, now, um, so the dimensions of this, I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. I'll put it right up here over my head so that you'll be able to see uh, what the dimensions of this is. Now, for me, uh, the way I cut my wood, it's, um, I don't cut it quite 24 inches long. So to me, for me, it works best to stack it in here like this and then I drop some more down in the middle just to uh, fill it up. But, you know, for you, it may work to go the other way. You just have to kind of try with the length of wood that uh, you normally cut. But let me get this loaded up. Okay, so that's got this loaded. And uh, you might ask, ask me, why would you stack it over here and then stack it in here? Well, that's that won't be the plan going forward. I, I cut this wood last year before um, I bought these totes. And so I'm loading it in there because I'm going to do a video showing you um, kind of the system that I've put together. But the ultimate goal is what I'm going to do is I'll take these, when I cut a tree down, I'll take these totes, take them next to the tree, I'll cut the wood, I'll split the wood, and I'll put it in the tote immediately. Then I can pick it up with my tractor, I can put it in the barn and let it dry, and then um, after that I'll take it up as I need it in the winter, I'll take it up. I'm going to build some dollies to put these on um, so I can take them up, set them on the dolly, and roll them into my garage. And I'll keep two of them in there at all times. And so I'm not taking up a whole ton of my garage with uh, firewood and all of that. Okay, so now let me just show you how I move this. And uh, I'll take you around and show you where I'm keeping it on the other side of the barn. <laughs> Well, that's got them all under cover. I cut these last spring, so they've been drying, uh, but now I've got them loaded in here, so as I need them up at the house, I can do that. In future videos, I'll show you how I load, uh, I make a dolly to put these on so I can roll them in and out of my garage. Um, so as I need them during the year, I can bring them up and put them in there. Okay, well, I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.